Hi, this is Susan Bradley for today's tip on Windows security. Today we're going to talk about how to check for updates on Windows 10 or Server 2016 without actually installing them in the process. Now here's a sample Windows Server and if we went here to the Update and Security section and we actually clicked on that Check for Updates, we'd actually trigger the installation of updates. And in many cases, we actually don't want to do that. We actually want to just see what's pending and we don't want to install anything at that time. If you click on Update History, that actually doesn't show you what's pending. It just shows you what got installed. So what can you do? And as a reminder, this is a change from how Windows 7 did its updates. In Windows 7, you could actually go into the Windows Updates section of the control panel and actually click here and look at the pending updates without triggering them. Obviously, in Windows 10, it's a different situation, but there's a way around this problem. As is the case, PowerShell is your friend. There's three particular steps you can do to set up your machine so that you can use PowerShell to detect but not install updates. First off, you need to set the execution policy for PowerShell to remote signed. You may have already set this policy uh, in place. It needs to be at least this. You may have it uh, uniquely set in your environment, so check for that. Next step is to type in install package provider NuGet. NuGet is a open source Windows provider program that allows you to manage win Windows machines. Next is the important part. Install module PS Windows Update. This allows you to control and actually detect and I even install Windows updates on a PowerShell command line. And finally, that command you'll get really used to is that get Windows update. I've actually set it up ahead of time on this machine and you can see I've set the execution policy. I've installed the package provider. I've then installed the module for PS Windows Update, and each time it prompted me yes, no. And then finally, I type in get Windows Update, and it tells me on this particular machine, only a definition update for Windows Defender is pending. Now let's take a look on this workstation and have it look for Windows Updates. And again, we're not triggering the installation of Windows Windows updates is just detecting what's out there. And you can see it works for a while and you kind of wait and see what it does. And it'll finally come back with a list of the pending updates. Again, we haven't triggered the installation of any updates. It's just giving us a list of what is pending on the machine. If we use the flag of dash install behind that, we can actually get a step-by-step -step prompting for each individual update and we can say yes or no. So if you want to individually install updates without getting all of them at the same time, you can actually get them one at a time with a prompt. As you can see, it says, would you like to install KB4461438? And you can say yes, yes to all, no, suspend, and actually stop the process. So there's your tip for today. If you want to check for updates, and not install them and just see what's pending, check out the Get Windows Update PowerShell command.